Hello everyone, my name is Adam Twilight, this is Hexmania, and uh, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. So last time we arrived in Hecate Town, and we made some progress through the, uh, through the cave here. We've gotten a little bit further to go. Also, we did get an egg. I have no idea what it's gonna be, so... But hopefully something good. Okay. All right. I I forgot there is Pokemon here, and I need to make sure I don't run into any because that's cause that's incredibly annoying. Uh, and if you're wondering why I forgot, uh. You won't be able to tell, but effectively, um, between this recording and the last recording, um, I took a break for a few days to play something else, uh, just for fun for me. Uh, I played through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, and, uh, that was a lot of fun. And... It made me cry a lot, so. <laughs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> it was still very enjoyable to play through, though, so. Uh, Okay, that is really... That is really weird for tiles on there. That looks incredibly weird. Uh, can I not? I guess I can't go across. I really enjoyed uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Uh, geez, okay, okay, Pyroar. Ultra, get us out of here. That's incredibly funny because uh, technically I'm playing Red Red Rescue Team on this now, uh, like on the channel now. Um, I've been focusing on recording this series at the moment. Uh, because I'm having fun with Insurgents right now. Uh, let me get across here. Okay. But I'll probably pick that up again once I get to a point where I'm getting tired of this game again. Because part of the issue with the Pokemon Insurgents is that, like, uh, although I think it's really good, it's a really good game. Uh, 
It's just like... Um... You can get tired after a while, and it's like... Because there's a lot. Oops. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Um, where am I supposed to put the, uh, so, the thing is you can't go across there. Where's there a spot to put that stone? Like the rock. Because clearly there's a rock here for a reason. I just don't know why. Um. I don't. I'm supposed to take this rock. Hmm. Hmm. Rock. Because I think I'm supposed to go up here somehow. It's just. Wanna go in there? No. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. All oh, worked. Am I ever glad to see you? I heard about what happened with Damien down in Audrey's base. Listen, I don't know what's going on with him and I don't know how to cure him. But we're gonna find a way to help him, okay? I promise. I'm happy you're here. I was worried I'd have to fight the inter uh, infernal cult all by myself. Let's, let's do it together. And as it turns out, everyone was interpreting the prophecy wrong. What do you mean? Did he find out what it is really trying to say? Yes, and as fantastic news. That hero, that'll, they'll defeat all the other cults just fine. Then not only will they defeat us, they'll end up joining us. That's wonderful. And since the only candidates for the hero are that rain team leader, or one of those kids, I don't think they're going to be joining us willingly. Exactly, which means our gift is more powerful than we ever believed. What on earth is wrong with you? You were with us at the library when we heard that prophecy. You're supposed to be on our side. You told us how important that prophecy was. Special information that the cults don't know. And now you're share uh, just sharing it to Zenith and Vernal? You betrayed us. We don't have our advantage anymore. Your advantage is long gone before that. Zenith knew about the prophecy the moment you did, you foolish girl. Then you, you... You never really did ask my name. You should have. Names are important. They have power. The chance of hearing that prophecy is the only reason I ever worked at the super library at all. Oh, you were the library dude. Oh, I was wondering who the fuck you were. I I forgot. <laughs> Having to wear hair dye was awful in itself. When the three of you showed up and the Ordo Cole finally appeared, every tiresome moment there became worthwhile as I finally heard him predict our victory. And now, 
We don't fear children or any kind of prophecy. One of you will join us, it is foretold. I'll never help you, you're crazy. You act like you have a choice. But so be it. If you want to fight, then that's what you'll get. So, Adam, Nora, come at us. Show us what you can do. Oh shit, it's a fight. Okay, um... I'm gonna use Confuse Ray just in case. It's also possible I might lose here because I don't have a full team right now. Okay. Excadrill. Hmm. I'll send him my own extra drill. Easy. <laughs> oh. Low Corona. Easy. Rock slide. Or get out sped, okay. There we go, nice and easy. My cargo. I don't really have anything for that except for Valtriac, so... I'm going to at least try this. Oh fuck, I might go evolves. Okay, I'll be just fine. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. I'm kind of hoping it'll be you who ends up joining us. We've spent enough time stalling. We're going to show you exactly what we're capable of. Groudon, Duke of the Earth, rise, show yourself to your loyal servants. Evocare immortali terra. Oh shit, okay. The connection has been established. Excellent, time to go. What? How did Groudon join you so easily? Well, where was the ritual? Where was the sacrifice? Oh, the innocence of youth. You didn't come here expecting us to catch Groudon, did you? You clearly haven't done your research on the Infernal Cult. We were the first. It's only natural that we caught the legendary we worshipped long ago. We are merely waking Groudon from its rest. After all, it's nearly time to begin. We're in the mountains. If you're still aching for a fight, I'll be waiting. I I didn't know they've already caught Groudon. That's bad, Adam. Really bad. You saw how quickly the Abyssal Cult moved into action after they caught Lugia. I don't know what Infernal is planning, but I don't like it. I'm going to head back to the library. Something Zenith said made me think about perfection. It's a long shot, but I have an idea. I need to research this more. Adam, you should probably head to Saloon City. There's a gym there, after all. I'll see you around. Alright. Actually, I don't need the Rapal anymore, because, like, I could just... There we go. Now I can heal. Let's see, how close is the egg to hatching? 
Doesn't seem close. <sighs> well, I don't really want to do any more story stuff right now, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to just run around. Uh, okay, what's an area where I can just explore? Hmm. I guess I can return to Sonata City. We can do the gacha pawn real quick. See if we can get Sebastian a better nature. Alright. Okay, it's just gonna be an item. So I think the best idea is to just wander around until you can hatch this thing, because like, uh, hmm, I'm gonna look at the best way to hatch eggs. Um. I mean, usually you have a Pokemon with, like, Flame Body, but I don't think I have any. Push tile while po um, pointing up, then hold the down key. The design allows you to do something else. Okay. You could also take him to the scientist in Vipic, but it requires you to farm enough money to sustain that. Um, wait. Wait a minute. I have a good chunk of money. I can see if I can speed up the process. So... Because I don't know how many uh, how many hatch cycles it means still. So, Vipic City. There's a scientist here. No, you're not it. You're not it either. Oh! Wait a minute. <gasps> Ooh, a TM. Frost Breath. That'll be nice. Okay, where... Where is... Scientist? You're not a scientist. Oh, wait a minute. There's upstairs, too. So I'm gonna have to look in every house properly. Okay, just stand there mysteriously. Hmm. There we go. I have enough money to pay for this, so... It 
It's Munchlax, okay. Um, you can be Soul Eater. Because <laughs> you eat a lot. Uh, I can put him in a ball. Um, you can chill in a premier ball. Alright. So that that was something. Alright. This is actually a chance to switch out the team, if I'm being honest. Cause I did I did catch Golurk. But honestly I think I'd rather just have Subaki. Because, like... I mean, grass is a good type to have, possibly. Especially because they have three fairy types on the team, which is a little much. But they're very strong fairy types and I like them, so... Plus the grass type can help us deal with ground. And water, and water, okay. So actually, we'll be adding Cure Flora to the team. <coughs> oh, that was a big sneeze. Um, he does need to be uh, trained up a little bit. Especially because it's level, he's level 53, so. Dual chop. Damn, okay, okay. Okay. I like this moveset, alright. Um, I'm probably gonna end it here, I'm gonna train. Cure Flora up more, and uh, I'll see you next time.